Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, we're gonna deploy a sample Node.js API on AWS Lambda function. We'll be also implementing API Gateway to create an API endpoint and then we'll connect it with uh, AWS Lambda function. So before we can start the deployment, um, let's uh, firstly have a look on some of the basic benefits of using AWS Lambda function. So AWS Lambda function is based on serverless architecture means uh, we just need to deploy the code and infrastructure related stuff will be uh, managed by AWS. The AWS Lambda function is uh, very cost effective so it works on pay as you go service means if we are using Lambda function then only we need to uh, pay for the usage and we can deploy multiple programming languages on AWS Lambda function. Now let's talk about API Gateway. So API Gateway is a managed service that will be uh, used to create, manage and deploy the API endpoint. Now we'll be having a basic understanding of AWS Lambda function. Uh, now let's uh, create a new Lambda function using AWS console. So firstly search for lambda function under uh, AWS console. Now click on the create a function button. So it will uh, start a setup wizard. So we need to provide the AWS lambda function name. So we'll name it as node uh, API v3. Now we need to select the runtime environment. So as we are creating our uh, API using Node.js so we will select runtime as Node.js but if you are using any other programming language so you can select it from the drop down. Under execution role you can uh, either uh, select the create a new role so whenever we create a lambda function so it will automatically create a new role with some basic lambda permission or we can also use an existing role so we can check the existing role and uh, select the existing role from the drop down but right now we'll just create a new role and have some basic lambda permissions now click on the create function button so it will take a couple of seconds to uh, provision aws lambda function on our aws region okay so our lambda function is provisioned successfully now we'll just be having uh, a quick overview about uh, the lambda function dashboard so here you can see the inline uh, code editor so this code editor you can use for testing purpose so you can write some small code and just uh, test your uh, lambda function but for large scale application it is always recommended recommended to use uh, s3 bucket so you can upload your project on s3 bucket then you can connect your s3 bucket url with your lambda function under runtime settings basically you can uh, you can change the runtime environment or you can also add the path of your handler so we'll create a project so we'll be having a project directory so inside this we'll create an index handler so we'll just need to provide the entire path so when we create our project so uh, then we'll upload you know like up, update this runtime settings under monitoring you will get stats of your lambda function invocation so you will get a uh, number of invocation in a graphical representation you can also check the lambda function execution duration or you can check the error count and success rate if you want to uh, see the detailed log so you can use cloudwatch log so it will show the detailed log of any error or um, any exception that will uh, generated into your code so you can easily check into the cloudwatch management console so this is a quick overview about aws lambda function now we'll firstly create an api endpoint using api gateway so once our api gateway endpoint will be created then we will uh, start writing the code so under api gateway firstly uh, select the rest api 
so here we need to click on new api then we need to provide the api name so we'll be adding node api v3 now we will create a endpoint api uh, get products so this endpoint will be used to get the product detail we'll create another endpoint that will be api uh, slash uh, get user so it will return the user information so in order to create endpoint path firstly we need to create the resource so the first resource will be api under api we will create another resource and name it as uh, get product now we will create another resource and name it as uh, get user now we need to assign the api method for both of these endpoints so for first one we will assign get method and for second one also we'll assign the get method so whenever we uh, trigger the get method on this endpoint then it will return the product detail and get i mean the user information so again for get user we will be uh, adding the get method okay so it will be uh, redirected to the setup wizard so here we need to select the integration type so as we are integrating our api gateway with the lambda function so we'll select lambda function as an integration type then we also use uh, lambda proxy in integration so basically lambda proxy integration will be used to proxy all the requests uh, that will be sent to the lambda function <coughs> so we'll check this option then we will be uh, we will be selecting the lambda function name so our lambda function will be uh, node api v3 now click on save button again for get uh, product we need to add the proxy integration then we will need to select the lambda function now click on the save button so our get product and get user endpoint is ready we just need to deploy the api so here we can create a deployment stage so as we are working on development uh, so we will be adding staging i mean stage name name as uh, dev so click on create so our endpoint is created successfully so we can use this endpoint to get the product and user detail so firstly we need to upload the code on our lambda function then we will try to execute uh, these endpoints so let's go back to the lambda function okay so firstly uh, let's understand the basic structure of lambda function so into lambda function we will need to create a lambda handler so this lambda handler will be entry point of our application so whenever lambda function get invoked so it will invoke this handler and this handler will be a synchronous function and it will contain the event object so this event object is the is the lambda proxy integration so it contains the request information that we will be sending uh, using this endpoint all right now let's go to the code editor and uh, try to create a api handler and we'll we will be generating a customized response for for both uh, uh, i mean get product and get user details so let's create the lambda handler first So it will be asynchronous function then we will pass the event object so uh, here firstly we will create a generic response so it will be having a status code and so this generic response will be uh, 
will be generated from our lambda function when uh, when we try to hit the endpoint that is not created in that is not you know like uh, defined under this lambda function so we'll be sending 404 error then we will need to send the body and just send it as All right. Now we will be checking if uh, event dot path is equal to API gateway. I mean API. Then uh, get product. So in event object, we'll also re uh, also receive the API endpoint path. So we'll firstly check get product endpoint and then we will be sending a customized response so it will be status code as 200 so we will send the product detail now we will check uh, check for the endpoint get user so again if uh, event dot path equal to api get user then we will be uh, sending the body having the user detail so we will send username then we will send email address now finally we need to return the response to the lambda function so our first checkpoint is uh, to check the get product endpoint then send a customized response then we'll check get user endpoint and we'll again send the user detail and finally we are returning the response so our lambda function is i mean lambda function code is ready now we just need to create the zip file and upload it on s3 bucket okay now let's search for s3 so firstly we will create a new bucket and uh, into new bucket we will uh, upload upload the uh, upload the node project that we have created so click on create bucket and name it as node api v3 and click on the create bucket button so under new bucket we will upload our project so click on upload and then click on add file select the file uh, zip file that we have created now click on upload button click on the zip file then we will copy the s3 url now go to lambda function and in lambda function we will need to add add this s3 bucket url 
so we'll click on upload from s3 location then we will add our bucket url here click on save button now we will need to edit the runtime settings so here we will add our project path so this will be node api then index.handler now click on save button now let's go to the postman and try to run get user endpoint so it will return the user information if i change it to get product then it will return the product detail all right so we have successfully uh, deployed our api on aws lambda function uh, by implementing api gateway so i hope uh, this will help you to uh, learn about uh, how we can deploy the code on aws lambda function and how we can create endpoint on api gateway so thank you so much for watching this video